don't want to fight. Hey, Gun, I'm calling you. Come on. Don't you understand that the stronger you are, the more you need self-control? If you don't have that, then you shouldn't fight. You're much too dangerous. But all I want is to fight and to win. That is a worthless ambition, and it does you no honor. What sort of life do you think you'll have? Good evening. Forgive the interruption. Excuse me. My name is Wang Xinqi. And you, sir? Your name? My name is Mahashi. Mahashi? Oh, you're Japanese. Wasn't there a famous warrior long ago in Japanese history with the same name? Tell me, you're going back to that boxing school. I watched you. Throwing those guys around. Poor fellas never had a chance. You really can't fight. What do you want? Get to the point. <laughs> you see, my boss would very much like to meet you, sir. Your boss? <laughs> my boss is Mr. Yin Nin. He's fond of martial arts. He wants to fight with me? No, he's much too old for that. Anyway, he's a millionaire. It's his hobby, though. He likes to meet martial art experts. So then, if you have the time, he'd love to meet you and have a little talk with you. I'm sure you'd find him interesting. I should say he's a very influential man in Hong Kong. And there's no harm in having influential friends, is there? And if he's feeling fit, perhaps he might give you a fight. You see, 
seem to speak Chinese pretty well, huh? Learning from friends in Yokohama. Ah, oh, is that so? I noticed you were speaking to that young girl after you got off the ferry. Was she a friend of yours? No. No stranger. But not to have a fight, though. Well, young man, thanks for coming here. It was very nice of you. <laughs> My boss doesn't want to have a fight, but he would like to have the chance of a few discussions with you. So if you haven't any other arrangements, then why don't you move in for a few days? No, thanks. Now, come on. He'd love to have you as a guest. I only came here to fight. That's why I came to Hong Kong. <laughs> well, my boss hasn't fought for a very long time. And you have nothing else to do. So why not stay? No. Well, that's too bad. I said I was looking for a fighter and not a place to stay. Now listen, eh? When I was your age, I was like you, energetic. Always looking for a good fighter. But now I've reached later years. I just want to rest, take it easy. Think about the old days. And so, when I come across men like you, I feel young and strong. It brings it all back. That's why I want you to stay. So we can talk about boxing and exchange a few stories, that's all. Will you stay? That would make my boss very happy. Why have any interest if you can no longer fight? And in any case, I don't like talking. All I want to do is fight. Oh, well take our guest along to see the training room now. The trophies that the boss has won. Now you've seen these, perhaps you have a better understanding of how he feels. So if you have the time, please stay here for dinner, and then you can decide what you want to do later. That's why you've come here, to explore Shaolin boxing, an old Chinese martial art adopted in Japan and then converted into various types of judo and karate techniques there. That's right. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> so you may be leaving us tomorrow. Well, I think that I probably will. A pity. But, boss! <laughs> you... Well done, but now come along with me. See something interesting. 
Come here. Well, the boss is a millionaire, and many people envy him. So Key does as well. <laughs> and also, something else you should know. The boss is recognized as a top kung fu man. And everybody knows that. And that's why all these gangs challenge him. Where does he live? No idea. Those foreigners? They're our men. Boss hires them as bodyguards. If you did decide to stay here for a while, well, then you'd see quite a lot of them. Please tell you, boss. I'll stay a while. Huh? You will stay? I'd like to meet Soki. You would? Oh, that's good. That's a great idea. Sure, sir. Come on in. Uh, uh, take you anywhere, sir. All right. Bye. Hey, where are you going? It's a long way, man. What are you doing? You're taking me the long way, I'm telling you. Hey, it's a long way. What do you think you're doing?
evening. Uh, he's the manager. This way. See her? The girl who's singing there? She's the one you talk to at the ferry. She's a Japanese, too. In fact, she's the reason that I decided to bring you here. Please sit up. Please. I'll be right back, okay? He intends to kill us all, one by one. We're gonna find those bodyguards deserting us. Can we trust him? Maybe. Evening. Is there anything you'd like me to get for you? Well, enjoy yourself. wants to meet you. He's a guest over there. Good evening. I know you. Ah, oh, yes. I'm sorry about that time. <laughs> no. Sit down. Thank you. I'm glad I came here. I like the old Japanese songs. I see. You're Japanese? Sure. Well, that's nice. Tell me, that time you talked to me, who did you mistake me for? Doesn't matter. Now, come on. That sort of mistake always interests me. In fact, you look just like my sister. I really look like her? Yeah. But I can't be too sure. She left Japan when she was quite young. So now I don't know what she looks like or even where she might be living. Oh, I see. Well... I guess that's life. And now I got no family. Been here long? About ten days. And you? Since I left home, it's been three years. Well, you haven't been back since? No. And I've never wanted to. I'm like that. I just like to live in foreign countries. Ah. Any good boxers here? They should be, because karate originated here. That right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it bores you. I suppose all men like to fight. Hey, it isn't the fight, it's the challenge. I suppose you're right. Everybody needs some challenge. Well, I believe in Kung Fu. It has meaning for me. If I ever give it up, then I'm through. I guess you struggle, too. Struggle? Yeah. You're singing. <laughs> I like to sing. I don't have to struggle with it. Tell me, are you living by yourself now? Yes, I am. But it's not a good thing. Does no harm? You're strong. May I ask what your name is, then? Shibata Reiko. Shibata Reiko. Tell me, the man you came to the restaurant with, is he a friend? No. You see, he works for a millionaire I'm temporarily staying with. Do you know him? No.
Where's Soki? Where does he live? Brace yourself. Come on. Right. Good. Try again. A mm, bit harder. That's better. Now that's it. Good. Come on. Lunch time. Him. He fights that well. Like a tiger. He does no fear. The man's a natural killer. Does he fight like us? Same style? No, I've never seen that style. It's strange. It's something like the Shaolin style with some karate thrown in. Shaolin style? Hmm. Now he's looking for So Kay, too. Brother. We'll go ahead. It's dangerous. I just want to kill that bastard Yin. I won't mess around with this jab. There's no time to change my plan. What is the plan? What are you going to do? bothering you? I'm sorry. Just daydreaming, that's all. Now that you've seen Hong Kong, do you think that you might stay a while? I don't know, but I only came here for one purpose. One purpose? Yeah. That's the only reason that I'm traveling. Otherwise, I'd have stayed at home in Japan. I'm looking for one thing. Can you tell me? Sure. I'm looking for good fighters. Why not? Hey, you bet on six. Hi. 
We're so gay today. Gone out. I don't know where. So early? Yes. And he leaves you two alone. He's still trying to get revenge. All he thinks about. There's no way he can forget it. I know. But do you think he can really do it and avenge his father's death? Well, can he? Maybe. But his family, right now, he goes off and simply neglects them. Is his vengeance that important? That he forgets everything else? Tell me, would you be able to pick up a stone and break your sister's head? If vengeance goes too far, then it's bad. You any news? Not yet. How come? You went with that guy to Macau? He must have talked. He's Japanese too. He ought to trust you. me a lot of information. So why have you stopped? You stopped loving me? Of course not. Then help me. What do you know? Come on, tell me. Soki, don't you care anything at all about the lives of your sisters? I can understand why you hate Yin, but you might lose. And what would happen to your sisters if you were to get killed one day? You don't know, and you don't care. Reiko, you don't understand Chinese traditions. We love our families, and I wouldn't hurt my sisters for the world. But still, I have to avenge my father's death. That comes first. I just have no choice. If you, if you love me. Of course I do. I love you so very much. I know that. That time, when I walked into the nightclub, I fell in love with you at first sight. I need you. You know that. But I have my duty to my father. I've got to get my father's killers. Tomorrow, price hike. But all the guys who come here are pretty poor. They're not going to be able to buy so much. Shut up. Look, you heard? Do it. These bastards will find the money even if they have to kill their mothers for it. Nani? You found out nothing? Not even where he lives? Stupid idiot. I'm very sorry, very sorry, sorry. Hey, boss. You any idea when the next shipment's coming in? Our stocks are getting pretty low now. I know. Not to worry. I told him all the price is going up from tomorrow. Hmm. But still, though, 
One thing. What's that? When you go to visit your father's grave, I think I ought to go along with you. There's no need. Well, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your business, but from now on, I think we should have to be a lot more careful. Come along if you like. But what I really want to do is to get that damn so kitty. Not any match for him. He'd just kill you. Yeah. Uh. 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 Uh
Don't worry. Nothing broken. I'll be okay in a couple of days. Who was it? Tell me. Your friend. That Jap. God damn him. He ruined our plan. If he hadn't been there, I'd have got in. Damn him. God damn that jab. I had a great chance. And now it's gone. What's with you? Why is everyone avoiding me? It's like this. We're certainly not avoiding you just because you weren't able to finish that young bastard so key. But we do have suspicions. The thing is, how did they find out the boss was going to the graveyard that particular day, huh? <laughs> if someone hadn't told them, there's no way they could have known. There's only one answer. One of the four of us here must have told them the time and the date. Could you possibly be the one who told them, huh? Did you? No. Hmm. Strange. If it wasn't you, who was it? No! It wasn't me. I never breathed a word. Oh, well. Let's just forget it. Take a rest. Hey, boss, what do you think? Well, I don't think it was him. Too stupid. Ha! He's a brave man, but dumb. What do you want? Information. I don't like doing this, but I haven't any choice. Now, tell the truth. The other day, I mentioned that I was going to the graveyard with Mr. Yin. You told So Key, didn't you? That's right. And So Key is my lover, too. I know it was wrong to cheat you. But Yin is an evil man. I know that he managed to fool you. But in fact, he murdered Soki's father. Murdered? Yes. Soki's father was a very famous local boxer here. Why was he murdered? All right. I'll tell you what happened. Soki's father and your Mr. Yin were students of the same school. Then later, Soki's father joined the local police. He became a detective, and he was working on the local drug rackets. And then he found out that Yin was the head of one of the big syndicates. He accused him. And that was his last mistake. I see. So Yin murdered him then? They could never prove anything, though. 
Mr. Yin was too smart for that. And that's where I came in. You see, I decided to help. I took that job singing because Mr. Yin owns the restaurant. I hope to find out something. Just to help So Ki. I was able to get some information for him. But I was never able to find out anything real important. And then you came into this. And now you've beaten up So Ki. I must meet So Ki. What for, though? I just want to talk. I'll explain my position to him. You're so key. Sorry to bother you. I want to apologize. I didn't know about your father's death. All I wanted was a fight. A fight? I was at Yin's place. Saw you fight. You looked good. So I wanted a fight with you. I see. I was simply a workout for you. And what about now? Now you know what sort of friends you got. It's none of my business. I'm not going to get involved in your quarrel with him. So why'd you come here then? Well, I didn't come to fight you. I'm leaving Hong Kong. So I thought I'd apologize to you. Goodbye. Damn you. You only know how to fight as a sporting technique. You only know how to fight as a sporting technique. Now it's just a workout for you. You only know how to fight as a sporting technique. Suki, what do you want to know? When's your next going out? Now listen, Soke was pretty worked up just then, but he's a good guy. Now what we do need is a bit more information. We want to know when Yim will be going out again and definite details about where he'll be going to. So if you will, let us know anything that you can find out and then we'll get the swine. That's Mahashi. That's right. I'm the other one. He's one of So Key's fellas. Right. Well, you follow him. I'd better tell the boss. Right. Should I help him? He should be back here pretty soon. That won't get him. Hmm? Hmm. Well now, mixing with the opposition, eh? Well, you'll regret that. You've done a very foolish thing, boy.
Just want a quick smoke. Thanks a lot. Be patient. It's all right. Can't stand much more. This goddamn smoke. I can hardly breathe here. Well, we must know when Yin's going out again. And I don't care much how we do it. Yin's men have picked up two. What? I just managed to get away. The others two, they're caught. Right. We'd better move. Uh, uh, right. You. Uh, uh, Speak up. Make me fight, okay? Talk. Damn you. Sir? What's your karate grade? Making a guess. I shouldn't think it's very high. That's why you got this job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just the sort of thing you'd like. Mm -hmm. You lousy yellow-bellied bastard, you. Damn you! Yes! What a little creep. How come they hide you? Huh? Uh, uh.
Their jabs escape. Right, come on, let's go! got you. And the others, too. They got men all over town. They'll spot me. I can't go out. I have to hide. So that leaves only one thing to do. My sister and I, we'll move out. We'll go to the hills. We'll wait for things to cool down. Then we'll try again. But we can't take the girl. I think she'll be better off with you. Still, there isn't any choice. And me? What about me? Just forget about me. And just like that? I'm as good as dead. How can you? How can you say that? You're not only cruel, you're so selfish as well. Rico is over. How are you feeling, huh? Hmm? You're a very lucky young man. You can thank the blessed heavens above that you're still alive at all, you know. So give up this violent life. You won't always be able to rely on the gods to help you out of trouble, I promise you. This pride, control it. Change your ways. And start to act like a normal human being again. All this fighting, it isn't a way of life. It's the way I want it. Ah, uh, maybe so. But that's because you're full of pride of your strength. But you won't always be strong, though. 
Well, who the hell wants to become a saint? I agree. You just look for challenges. Every man does. And without that, I might just as well be dead. I'm not suggesting you give up challenges. Then what do you mean? I don't understand. I'm saying that fighting shouldn't be an end in itself. Yeah. Tell you what, better than being a hermit. Maybe so, but I wouldn't like it. What will you have achieved at the end of your life? Is a set of bruised knuckles a life's ambition? That's assuming you can reach old age. Time you reassessed yourself. It isn't too late. You can still develop a useful life. The whole world is in front of you. And I recommend that you give it some thought now. You may not have too many more chances. <laughs> It's okay. So that's it. He's gone. I decided to hide up. He left me. The girl, she's his sister, Lan Fong. I suppose he blames me. Where have you been, though? Yen had me locked up in his cellar. In fact, nearly killed me. What's wrong? Yen's man. How did they know? I've been so careful these last few days. Back way. Someone here. Must be them. Rachel! Brother! He's hurt. It happened when he was saving us from Yin's men. Or they would have killed us. How are you feeling? 
My God! All right. In a few days, I'm supposed to be having discussions with some officials. But I can't go out of the house because you haven't caught the damn so kid yet. You useless fools. We got our best men out there. We're doing everything that we can. Well, so the that... first time that he shows his nose on the streets, then you make sure that you get him. See anything? Anything at all? A lamp. Right. What sort of light? A lamp. You'll see it. Yeah, just a bit. He blind? Don't know. But I know one thing. It seems bad. What now? We get a doctor. We can't. You know we can't. I must. There's no choice. Listen, you're bound to be caught. And why? Because he saved her life? It's a debt. I must pay it. Even if it costs my life. I must. I have no choice. What is all this? Huh? Why should I come? I don't know this patient. And right up in the hills? Must be crazy. So you won't come? You're dead right I won't. What? Hmm? What's this? Easy. <laughs> I know you work for that bastard Yin. That right, doctor? Huh? Uh, all right. I'll come along. Good. Get your things.
許して。Going to get in. The swine. I'll kill him. Wait a minute now. You can't go. You mustn't. You'll be killed. Please. Enough of your family have died already. Please. I must kill you. I must. Even if I die. So please. Don't try and stop me. Let me go. I must go. I must! No, you can't! No! Listen. Stay here. No. And who's gonna take care of your sister? I'll get you. No! I have to go. It's my job. I must kill him. Look after them. Don't go. You'll be killed. you some of those fishes that you helped me to dry. They should taste good. All right. You like it? Hmm. Oh. Ah. I think you had a very hard time. When did you start? So Key gave his life trying to get you some help for your eyes. However, sacrificing your own life trying to avenge him is pretty stupid. And you're not a stupid man? Maybe so, but I must. I thought you'd say that. I suppose there's no point arguing. You're stubborn. But there is one thing that you ought to remember, though, and it's this. Just remember, you're not alone. You have a just cause, the heavens are on your side. So if you do win, then don't you forget to give suitable thanks to the god up there. All right?
Well, I suppose that I better go now. I've got a lot of things to do. Yes. I've got no reason to keep you staying here. I'll miss you. Even though Soki is dead now, Yin may still cause trouble for you here. So please, promise me that you'll be careful. Yes. Any message for Mr. Mahashi? <laughs> you needn't pretend. I know you like him. Well, goodbye then. Goodbye.
come to say goodbye. Yeah, I thought I might. I really would like to stay in Hong Kong. But there's too many sad memories. Where will you go then? Manila. Got myself a singing job. King and her sister want to see you. Bye then. Goodbye. Going on vacation? Mm. Where are you going? Don't know. Down south. Not sure. Still searching. You're still looking for another boxer to fight, huh? Listen, my friend, no matter where you go, all that you really need is the love of a few good friends. your jacket for you and washed it too. Can I? 